Let us now understand how to solve a word problem involving trigonometric ratios. Rate of change of revolving searchlight. A revolving searchlight 0.5 mile from shore makes one revolution per minute. How fast is the light traveling along the straight beach at the instant it passes over a shore point one mile away from the shore point nearest to the searchlight? So I have made a diagram here to illustrate the situation. Now let's try to understand and correlate diagram with the word problem. It says a revolving searchlight 0.5 mile from a shore. So let us say this is our show, the blue line here, and the revolving light is right here. So let's call this point as R. And from the shore S and the distance between them is half a mile. So that is half a mile. How fast is the light traveling along the straight beach at the instant it passes over shore point one mile away from the shore point nearest to the search light? So one mile away from this for that I've made a triangle here. So this is similar to the triangle given above where R and S is half a mile and we have selected a point P which is one mile away. And that makes a triangle. In this particular triangle, as you can see, it's a right triangle. So the hypotenuse should be square of half plus square of one square root, which gives us square root five over two. Correct? Square of half means 1 over 4 plus 1. So you can take common denominator of 4. You get 1 plus 4, which is 5. Right? Square root of 5. And square root of 4 is 2. So that's how we get this. Correct? Now, once we have our diagram in place, and in general we are saying when the searchlight, so searchlight is revolving like all over, like this, right? So this is the shore. Let's come like this, hit the shore and kind of move. Move along the shore like this. That's how. And let us let us say that the x is the distance along the shoreline which the searchlight makes. Okay. And theta be the angle with the perpendicular as shown in the diagram. Now let's write down what is given to us and what we need to find. Now it's given a revolving searchlight one mile from shore makes one revolution per minute. So we are given one revolution per minute. Now in trigonometry always you have to convert units into radians. Now one revolution really means how many radians. So one full circle is 2 pi radians. So we can say this is 2 pi radians per minute, right? So that is actually the rate of change of angles. It's, since it is revolving it makes a change in the angle while it revolves and therefore this is rate of change of angle with time d theta over dt so we are given d theta over dt that means rate of change of this angle with time and it is 2 pi radians per minute so that is given to us now how fast is the light traveling along the straight beach at the instant it passes over a short point one mile away from the shore point nearest to the searchlight. So basically we need to find rate of change of this distance at a point which is one mile away. So what we need to find, so this is given to us and what we need to find is dx dt that is rate of change of distance when this distance x is equals to one mile. This is what we need to find. So that is the basic problem. Now to get this it is best to find a relation between x and theta, correct? Now as you analyze this diagram, so what is tan theta equals to? Tan theta is x divided by half. So that is the relation which connects the two. So we can write here tan theta equals to x divided, <coughs> x divided by half, right? Which is equals to 2x. So now we have related theta with x. Now if we find derivative with respect to time on both the sides, what do we get? So d d theta, so we can do derivative with respect to time for tan theta 
and also for 2x so d dt of 2x so we get derivative of theta is tan theta is secant square theta right so we get here secant square theta d theta dx dt equals to this is 2 dx dt right so that is what we get and what we need to find is basically dx dt that is this now we can rearrange this equation and write down what is dx dt so we have dx dt is equals to half of secant square theta times d theta dt and this we need to find when at x equals to 1 so we need to find this at x equals to 1 that is what we need to find right now if you see this equation we already know d theta dt is constant which is 2 pi radians per minute so we know this quantity but we don't know what is theta when x equals to 1 for that we'll use this triangle now when x is equal to 1 what is secant square theta or what is secant theta now secant is reciprocal of cosine right so cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse so what is secant so we can write down here secant theta will be equals to hypotenuse over adjacent side so which is square root of 5 divided by 2 divided by the adjacent side half right so that gives us a value of square root of 5 so secant theta is square root of 5 correct so we can substitute this value here and find rate of change dx dt at an instance where when the x is one mile away from the shortest shore point right so now we get our answer that is dx dt at x equals to 1 is equals to half and at that instance secant theta is square root 5 so it's square root 5 square and d theta dt is given to us as 2 pi radians per minute it's very important to convert this unit right whenever you are doing in trigonometric functions you have to convert to radians so we get 2 pi here and this can be solved 2 pi means 2 and 2 will cancel out right and you get 5 pi as your answer square root 5 squared is 5 so 5 pi is your answer so you get 5 pi and the units are miles per minute right so you can now clearly write down your answer as the light is traveling at 5 pi miles per minute at a distance of one mile right from the shortest point on the show right so that becomes your answer so this is how you need to answer the question now I like you to go through this video once again so that you understand how we really did it so first part of solving any word problem is to read it carefully and make a diagram which represents the situation so we made one diagram now we found that we need another diagram to figure out what is the situation when it is one mile away right so we made a similar diagram and figured out all the values which we are going to need the second part was to find a relation between the variables to connect the variables so the two variables for us were x the distance and theta the angle tan theta connected so we got a relation once you get the relation then you find the derivative and do the needful so that is how such problems will be solved thank you and all the best